Good morning, guys. It's 9.30 a.m. and I am getting ready to leave the house to go have this lady at work, the director of staff development, read my TB test because she wouldn't read it yesterday because she basically told me that if she was to read it yesterday, she would have to send me for a chest x-ray because my skin is super sensitive to the TB test injection. So my arm turned a lovely red color and here is how it looks today. I mean, obviously that is a negative TB test, but yesterday was basically the same. There was no bump or anything. It was just a little bit more red than it is this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go do that and get that over with. And then I may stop by the library to see what they have as far as new books. Um, it's been a while since I've been to the library and I just kind of want something to read. So I may go to the library and see what they have. I might not, I don't know yet. Um, I haven't decided. I brought my library card just in case I do decide to go to the library, but um, I might just because it would be nice to have something good to read um but anyways we'll see how this turns out i'll let you guys know when she tells me that it's negative i also have to ask her a question about like which entrance we're supposed to come in for night shift because they didn't really say anything but i believe the parking lot that i've been parking in for um, our general orientation is technically considered for visitors only so I'll have to find out if I'm able to go in that door or if, or if I have to park somewhere else. Sorry, my alarm went off because I was actually trying to get up at 9.30, but I woke up way sooner than that. So anyways, um, I'm going to let the car warm up for a few more minutes and then head to work so that um, I can get this over and done with and come home and enjoy the rest of my day. Okay, so I made it to work. Now let's go get this TB test over with. I'll let you know what she says when I get back outside. So literally five minutes later and I'm back out in the car because she said, well, that's why we waited because now your test is negative. It was negative yesterday too, but I won't, I won't argue with her about it. Um, it's all done over with and now I can just look forward to coming back to work on my actual shift, on night shift, on Monday. So I have the whole weekend to myself to relax and just chill and not have to deal with the craziness. Um, and this is the visitor parking lot. I didn't even have to ask. Um, and basically I have to park around the back of the building but she didn't know the door code to get in so hopefully someone is there around the same time as me to let me in um, because otherwise I don't know how I'm gonna get inside on Monday um, so yeah I guess we will wait and see how that goes but I think I am going to go to the library just to see what they have um, yeah so let's head to the library Okay, so this is the book that I got, and don't get confused by the cover. It's called Dirty Deeds, and it's kind of interesting. I'm already on chapter three. Um, it is about this guy who is like a mercenary killer for a cartel, and he is basically pretending to be in love with this girl or I think eventually he'll probably actually fall in love with her, but he's pretending to be in love with this girl who he was actually contracted to kill for $250,000. So um, we'll see how it turns out. So far, like I said, I'm only on chapter three, and it's really interesting so far. And the name of the book is Dirty Deeds by Karina 
Halle, H-A-L-L-E, Hale, I don't know how you pronounce it, but um, I will insert pictures of what the little synopsis on the back says about the book, as well as the front cover if you guys are interested in reading it for yourselves. Now I'm warming up some peach raspberry, peach raspberry oatmeal for lunch while I'm watching the newest episode of Law & Order SVU. Does anybody else watch that show? Or is it just me? Alright, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, what I ended up making for dinner was a pizza. It's like a flatbread pizza made with naan bread. Um, and it was just really, really good. We put it in the oven for like five or six minutes and everything was good. It was just um, marinara sauce. Well, first, put olive oil on the naan bread and then Italian seasoning and basil and then um, marinara sauce and a layer of mozzarella cheese and then a layer of pepperonis and another layer of mozzarella cheese and it turned out really really good so Anyways, that's it for today's video. I'm not feeling the best right now. Um, I'm starting to feel really shaky, so hopefully I don't have a seizure. But, um, anyways, I am about to go. I'm already laying down, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about in a future video, be sure to let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in a couple days with my next video.